We're at the NHL Entry Draft in, uh, in Dallas, and I'm here with Pat Hickey from Montreal. Pat, obviously the Canadians have the third overall pick, first time since Alex Galchenyuk that they had to pick, and it's kind of funny. They, they just traded away Galchenyuk. Are they yes, looking they for did. the next Alex Galchenyuk in this draft? Well, I think they're looking for a player that's probably a little more stable than Alex Galchenyuk. Very talented player, but uh, they had problems with him. Uh, they couldn't figure out whether he was a center or a forward or a winger. And... Uh, and there were problems with his father interfering, I think, and, uh, you know, telling him how to play the game. And it was very difficult for, for them to coach him. So uh, he's moved on. I thought they could have gotten a better return than Max Domi for him. But uh, this is what happened. You know, one of the things, they've been trying to move him for a year, and that decreases his value. Uh, now they move on. They've got lots of holes to fill. Uh, it looks like they might be a surprise uh, it would have been a surprise a couple of weeks ago. It's very uh, Um There's a guy that, in a lot of uh, the rankings, was in the, the second, uh, you know, late in the first round, uh, possibly even a second rounder. He had a big uh, under-18 uh, world uh, under-18 tournament. Uh, he got eight points in seven games, and uh, this guy's got he's got lots of skill. The most important thing is he's a center, right. and the Canadians desperately need a center. And I think that's one of the things that may tilt it in his favor. Well, here's a question I have. So Kokanaiman, whatever, uh, sorry, I'm butcher, butchering his name here, but obviously in a lot of rankings, he's not ahead of Zadina. He's not ahead of Brady Kachuk or Andrei Svechnikov. Is there a chance that if they really like this guy at number three, that they will trade down possibly to five or six, thinking that he might still be available? Is that an option? I don't think so because there are teams at six and eight that are, that are interested in him. Uh, also took him out for dinner in Buffalo. So, uh, you know, I think that they'll probably stay with that pick. They're starting to talk now about it's not the guy that's going to be the best player right now, but the best player down the line. This is a departure from the usual, we're going to take the best player available. Right. So that's a, a bit of a change. Uh, the other thing to look for this weekend is whether they make a trade. Um, last year, we, we were told that uh, two years ago, we were told they weren't going to trade P.K. Subban. Uh, but the seeds of that trade were made at the draft. Right. Uh, there's all sorts of rumors that Max Pacioretty may, may be on the market. Uh, they, they just traded Galchenyuk. Uh, possibility, if they're looking for a center, Rick O'Reilly. Uh, Ryan O'Reilly? Ryan O'Reilly, you know, in, in Buffalo. Yep. And, you know, a guy that sort of wore out. I, I think he upset a few people when he talked about the losing mentality there. And I think that they could justify trading him if they get a 30-goal scorer like Max Pacioretty. Pacioretty needs a change of scenery. Uh, he's the captain in Montreal. But, uh, you know, things, it just, it, it's just sort of, you can see it wearing on him. No, for sure. And, and I think that that's one of the things that they may make a move there. Well, obviously, there's a lot of things that the Montreal Canadiens need to do. We'll see how much of it they can accomplish this weekend. It all begins at the number three overall pick. For Post Media News, I'm Michael Trakos. This is Pat Hickey.